Fauna kind of came out of left field, uh, namely Aberdeen, which is a town sort of out in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, you know, we just got a phone call at the studio one day from this guy, you know, Kurt. He said his name was Kurt. He said he was a friend of the Melvins, and he wanted to come up and just record some songs. And I said, okay, friend of the Melvins, friend of mine, come on up. You know, I didn't know who the hell he was, and nobody else did either. He just came up, blew out 10 songs in five hours. We recorded them and mixed them in one afternoon, and uh, blew me away. I thought, oh, my God, this is amazing. You know, I said, guys, can I please keep a copy of this for myself before you go back to Aberdeen? Well, that was the tape I gave to Jonathan. <laughs> This is my penultimate grunge photo. Kurt Cobain spinning on his back. Everyone asks, how in the hell is he doing that? I don't know. At that point, I think Soundgarden had put out their first major label record. It was doing OK. I think that Screaming Trees had put out their first major label record, and I think it was doing okay. Alice in Chains was, had put out their first major label record, it was doing okay. But Nirvana was kind of the, the little brother, you know, the, the, the runt of the litter, so to speak. And I remember Jonathan telling me in 1990, he said, this band is going to be huge. He said it exactly like that. He said, Jack, this band is going to be huge. The record came out in fall, September. The video came. I remember the first time I saw the video, I, I thought, this is so cool, but there's no way MTV will play this. Just no way. And then when that started going, it reached in, millions of kids instantly. Ben would go off and call up people back home in Seattle. He'd come back and say, you know, the latest sales figures. He'd go, never mind has done 300,000. Never mind has done 400,000. Never mind, just went gold. song called Money Changes Everything. I think we adapted that to Nirvana Changes Everything. Yeah. 